Well, mm-hmm. coffee time, friends. It's Saturday. It's coffee time. Can we talk a minute? We've got so much to show you all. We're going to cook. Today, we're going to cook. <laughs> Finally, I got to looking at videos, and I told Mama, so we've not cooked all week. <laughs> Patience is waiting. Patience, go ahead and get your, get your chicken going. Oh, wow. Just... We know how patience is. Getting ready to go. No, you're not, Mama. You're going. You go without us. You're like, oh, I ain't waiting on them. <laughs> Mama, you okay? Yeah. So you should have just left me alone. Left you alone? Yeah, instead of <laughs> I wasn't ready. She's ready. She's going to put a little sprinkle of lemon pepper on this chicken. You might want to scoot that one out of the drain rack. Mm. Let's see, where's the front of it at? You're going to have chicken juice all over you, looks like. Right here. Okay. So I'm putting this. That looks little than that one. It's the same size when we come in the package. I know it. This is some Miss Pam and Joe sent us some chicken. And it was um, in a vacuum pack thing. So she's going to put a little lemon pepper. Put a lot on mine. That's what I'm setting it over here for this thing. Is that enough? Yeah, that'd be fine, Mama. And we're going to use some of y'all's Southern Secret, which you all know we put this on everything. And a little bit of ranch on mine, at least. I don't know about Mama. I like a little ranch on mine, y'all's ranch. Remember, ranch is a season, not just a dressing. I know I say that a lot, but sometimes I feel like I need to repeat myself. Okie dokie. Let's have some coffee, folks. We've got it on yours. It's next to the writing over here. There you go. That sounds good. Mama's just going to put that right in the micro pro grill. And you're going to put it in there for about eight minutes, nine minutes. I'm going to try eight. It's going to be good. Did you spray a little bit of avocado oil on her, Mama? No, She's going to spray a little avocado oil. You know that little secret you all told us about the air fryer. I have moved it over to the micro pro grill, and I find it's wonderful. I just spray a little bit on top of it, and it gives it good flavor. Even though avocado oil doesn't have... Flavor in it, it's got it. It browns it good, and it makes it mm, so good. I'm gonna unpack a little bit of Tupperware because Mama just got it literally right before we started this. She said, "Look what came!" Wow, I am so excited about two things. Now we have quite a bit of Tupperware, so when you can get Tupperware, people are so excited about a couple of items. You've done something because, I mean, I get excited about a lot of items, but these really made me happy getting these. We didn't have these. Uh, they've not had them since we've been uh, in separate I don't think, unless we just overlooked them. But these are the big, let me see what it says they're called, because I call them measuring pictures, but they call them something else like um, classic mixing store. You can call them measuring pictures once you get them home. <laughs> Because they're yours. But when you're buying them, remember, mix and store. And they are just that. This looks a little, uh, you know, it looks like it's a little pitcher. But it's not. It's a big pitcher. And I'll tell you how big it is. It's eight cups of pitcher. Four pints of a pitcher. I can mix cornbread up in this. I can do, you know, a lot of times we'll use that white one that we like. But you all can't see what we're doing in it. I like something you all can see in. So you all can see what we're mixing in these. I'm glad to get them. Uh, I've got a glass one, but it's heavy and you have to fill it. This one's very lightweight. And you get two of these. Here's the smaller one. And I know it may look small on camera, but it's not. Because it is a hearty four cups. That's a pretty good measuring pitcher, folks. These are, they're not going to break. <laughs> they're not, they're wonderful. So, and I love the the light blue lids on them. You know, a lot of things Tupperware has is bright pink fuchsia and those are good. Some people love that. It's okay. Mama likes it and that's quite all that matters. But I like these. I like them so good about two packs of them. Well, sometimes I mix double stuff. Sometimes I do a cornbread. Sometimes I do uh, maybe something else to mix. I may need two of these for y'all. So, these are our two new mix in store and the price is only $39 for both of them now that's a good type of work and this is lifetime I'm never gonna have to buy these again if I had one I wouldn't have to buy them again this is lifetime so let's put these over here mom you want me to mix up anything today we're gonna have corn 
Yeah, you want to wash this up? I just gotta check this out of the pack. Do you want me, you want to wash it? I'm making mix in it today. It's like a kid with a new toy in. Ain't that ridiculous? Open up the beans, she says. Mama, you didn't get over here where you're going to embarrass me in front of friends, are you? No, because I peeled that right up there. Ugh. That's so mad. That's some peanut beans. Just a little pint. We ain't going to eat a lot. Whew, Mama cleaned out the refrigerator this morning. It was a sin. I'm going to tell you, it was a flat out sin. And I told Mama, I said, Mama, we got to do better. You remember that time we had fish tacos and we fixed three pieces of fish? We was going to eat them later? Threw them out. Didn't eat them. Didn't eat them. They were in there. Didn't get them out. Why don't people eat leftovers? I do not know. Because a lot of times I'm hungry and I think, I'll just grab something for leftover to take to lunch. And then I end up not taking it. We got to do better, don't we, Mama? Yeah, we're going. We may do an inventory on the refrigerator refrigerator door. <laughs> Two pieces of fish. I mean, it's a waste. Groceries are outrageous. You can't even get anything in uh, for less than $100. And, you know, to waste leftover. We got to come up with a better system. Now, we use our little leftover containers that we can see through. That has helped because I can look in there and I can see what we got and I'll do it. But now, I'm going to tell you. As a rule, I'm not too lazy. I mean, I stay on the go. Mama's not either. But when you look in that refrigerator and you got stacks and stacks and stacks and you can't see what's in there, I usually ain't going to go through a mile. Move a jug of milk and move three containers. I usually ain't going to, just to be honest with you. Uh, am I supposed to do something besides open these, Mama? I knew there was one more instruction I had not followed. Now these flats... We don't reuse them, but you could for freezer stuff. Like freezer jam, freezer gel. We don't use them for uh, pressure cooking, but we do reuse them for freezer jam. And you can always reuse them just to seal something up in here if you're going to put in the refrigerator like a Where leftover. Is, is it clean? You want to make the cornbread up in it? Yeah. I feel special. But I'm going to show you some more stuff before I get to feeling too special, okay? They, and now, I, when I tell you we're unpacking this stuff, we just got it. I'm unpacking it. This is how it's going to come to you. I'm excited about these pictures. We don't have these. I have a yellow one, but it's not quite this big or quite this nice either one. It's got this little um, infuser thing in it that you could strain whatever you put in here. Like if you put, you put this on top and you can strain lemon out of it if you have seeds. No problem. If you put something here that needs straining, you know, like chicken broth. I don't know that we'll use chicken broth for it. You could, but you can strain it. You can infuse with fruits and, and other things. And then when you get rid, you put this on there. You put your lid on. And then you just pour it out. And look, it it's facing your refrigerator door. And you pour it out. And it's strained when it comes out. And there you've got, and this is a... Uh, one point eight. This is a one liter and a one point eight liter container. Is what this is. So this is. I'm excited about this too. I love to do cucumber water in the in the summer. What does it do? I don't know. I just see other people drinking it, and it's supposed to be good for you, and it tastes good. It's got a good little taste to it. You can do cucumber and blueberries in your water now. You don't have to have the little thing in there. You just drop them in there, put your cold water in here, or put your water in here, let it get cold, and it will strain for you. So you get two of these, by the way. So you can do two infusions. And here's the other one. They're a family. They're twins. They come in together. They both have the strainers. And these two things here are called Slimline Pitchers. And they are $35 to get two of them. Two of them. Here's your strainer for that one. We can do, which I started to say, but we won't. Uh, I started to say we could do a, a sweet tea and an unsweet tea, but this ain't near big enough. So we'll be doing gallons. So, but you could. like. You, and another thing, this is handy for, like, you know, you think, I'm going to have company Sunday, and I've got a half a pitcher of tea in there. 
you can put your half a pitcher of tea in here and then make a fresh one. You have enough for everybody. So those are nice. We just got those. Now, you all have ordered a lot of Micro Pro Grills. Several of you have. And we appreciate you. We really do. But I want to show y'all. Oh, we probably need to wash them. We'll be using them soon. Hand me that apron. She said, hand me that garbage. Don't you be piling that garbage down there. What's wrong with you? I don't know, it's Mama. Rough. Sorry. This is what you get. So if you've ordered the Micro Pro Grill... Or if you want to order the Micro Pro Grill, which the Micro Pro Grill is on sale for $219, and right here is $48 worth of freebies you get with it. And this is the way it comes. So you get the two tongs. These tongs are wonderful. I use these tongs hardly ever for, well, occasionally for tongs. But you see that right there? And you see that right there? Those make wonderful salad for, for doing salads. This makes wonderful for turning stuff, and you can... Um, use this one for about anything. You can flip an egg with it. I mean, it's not made for that, but do I care? No, I'll use it if I want to. Um, but they clip together and they, they hold together. They don't come apart. So if you want to use them, they're not going to, you're not going to have to worry about that flipping loose or anything, but you can pick up your chicken. You can pick up things with it and it's a good pair of tongs. And that's, you're going to need this with a micro pro grill. Yes, ma'am. Mom, I was just showing them all the good stuff. What happened? Just at me. This, you're going to need this with your Micro Pro Grill. That's the reason they're giving you two of them. You get two of them. But we use them separate, and when you want to pull them apart, they pull apart easily. And then they, you clip them in the bottom. You lay them in the bottom first, and then just snap them shut. That way, when you're in the drawer with them... You don't have this part hanging on the drawer and you're going, mm, what is in there? You know, sometimes I think we just put stuff in drawers so we'll have something to do later. Uh, because why would we put it in there? Put it in there separate, lay it flat, and it won't jam up your drawer. You get this ring. Y'all saw me mess up the cornbread the other night in it. Mama told me repeatedly, you're overfilling it. You get this ring. It's silicone, folks. It's not plastic. It's a silicone. It's heat resistant. You can use it to make little cornbreads. You can use it to make a cake. You can use it for other things. A lot of times, I just use the whole Micro Pro. She's going to use my bowl first. Well, that's just her bowl. Here's your Micro Pro. It's going to come to you just like this. It's going to come to you with the Macro Series information. It's going to come to you with this Macro Pro um, recipe book. So you're getting a recipe book. You're getting two sets of tongs. You're getting... It, this has got all kinds of stuff in it. Look, you can make the, the sandwiches. You can make pizzas in it. You can make desserts in it. And here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've not made any of these. I need them out. 10, 11, 12... 12 recipes and all kinds of information on how to use it. Mama, get this recipe book out. Let's use it. And here's your Micro Pro Grill. <coughs> Fresh out of the box. You get the top griddle piece and you get the bottom. I ordered this one. Why? Because we need another one. Uh, sometimes we fix breakfast in it and we want to do a quick lunch. It may not have gotten through the washing yet. You can put this in the dishwasher too. And you can't get it back in the box once you open it. So if you don't, if you open it, once you open it, you're committed to it. You can't. Oh yeah, you can. You just gotta know what you're doing. Oh, you gotta put your stuff back in it. See, it's got, it's all perfectly designed. I'll put all this back in here. Mama, let's make some of those recipes in this little book. Well, here's your cup of cornmeal and She's a half a cup of I got one more thing to show you before I yield to Mama. This is a, um, let me see what it's called, because I call it a filter bottle. It is called a, a pure and go bottle. 
for water. And they have these right now. Well, I thought you wrote you down. Maybe I didn't. $35. Tupperware Pure and Go. See that water bottle? Just a plain old water bottle, right? It's got the drink spout up here. Just like that. But it comes with this little filter. It's a carbon filter. And you can put um, any kind of water in here, like water fountain water, tap water, and this little carbon filter. And this little tube will filter it as you drink it. So the tube goes on there. You stick it down in here. You stick your tube in here. And as you're drinking it, you're filtering it as you go. I got to make cornbread. But this is the Pure and Go $35 water bottle. I remember when these were hundreds of dollars. When they first came out. And i tell you how I know that. Because a friend of mine had one. It worked years ago years and years ago and he was filling water up out of the water fountain and that was right about the time where i went crazy about bottled water you know you said people just drink it right out of the tap and we didn't think nothing about it then we all went crazy over bottled water and that's been about the time it was and he was drinking i said you just drank it out of the fountain he said i bought this water bottle it's like 150 dollars or something he said i can drink from anywhere and he said i saved tons of money because Back then, you know, you get one for a dollar or whatever. He said, you know, after 150 bottles of water, I got this one paid for and I can still use it. And I said, oh, that is so neat. And I thought, I ain't paying $150 for a water bottle. You want to put a little sugar in that cornbread? Huh? You want a little sugar in it? Do you want to lose your southern lady card? <laughs> Mama, do you have a fever? Are you going to show them this one? Oh, this is also on sale. You get two of these. I just got one out. This is called the Season Serve. You get a set of two, it's $39. It's on sale. Some of y'all have seen us use this one over and over and over and over, and it's still, this is, this is our old one. It's got the ridges on the bottom. It's got the ridges on the top. You just put your chicken or whatever you're marinating in here, clamp it down good, you turn it over, you turn it either way, back and forth, in your refrigerator. You stick it in there, maybe this evening for tomorrow's supper. Every time you get in there and get you a drink of water, flip it over, set it back in there flip it over so it works out wonderfully and it's no big deal and it's easy to do in those you get two of them and they are called <laughs> set of two season as to season it and serve and save so you season and save we call it a marinade uh, you know, once you get these Tupperware products in your own home, you name them whatever you want to. This will be probably called the cornbread bowl. Just saying. Because that's what we're going to use it for in dressing and other things. Now, this is how much cornbread, Mama? It's a cup of meal and a half a cup of flour. There's a cup of meal and a half a cup of flour in here. You and see I how big it is? And she's got me an egg laying here. And I'm going to... I'm going to test it in the shell. He good. What you're looking for, is that yolk white, or is it flat, or is it busted? Does it look funny? That not look good. And the, and the um, white of the egg looks good and clear. I know that I wasted a napkin, but I'm not going to sit here half the night with egg on my hand. I'm have to. This is buttermilk. I was excited to get these, because see, now you all can see i got an egg in there. I've got cornmeal in there. i got flour in there. Whatever mama mixes up for y'all, y'all can actually see it. Um, that's special. That's, that's good. Y'all saying, John, we don't care if somebody sees our cornbread mix or not. You can use it for other things. You can make your ranch dressing in here and leave it in here. You can make, if you're having a big party, you'll need this much ranch. If you're like our family. And you can make it in here. I've never done cornbread with a spoon. I always do it with spatula. This is mama's thing. And... <laughs> You can leave it in here, and the, with a little lead spouty thing, Mama's washing it, I guess, it, it'll pour out. And you've got a pitcher then. You could put sweet tea in this if you want to. You do you. This spoon's working pretty good in here. It's got a good inside, too. The, see how it's 
circular in there, it's circular in the bottom too. It comes all the way down to here. So when you're doing your spoon, you feel it. It's you're going round and round in a circle in there, and it's not getting in corners. There's nothing. You know, some flat, some bowls like this are flat. Turn this upside down, John. Smart move. See how that one's not flat, but the ring around it is. So nothing's getting caught. There's no dry cornmeal to me worry about when I pour it out. So I like that. Like that a lot. If I'm if if we've seen these before, then I've just missed it. But I don't believe they've had this since we now they've had it yes they have your mama had one your grandmama had one these are part of the vintage collection you know these are but we didn't have one and mama did you have one of these back in the 70s i can't remember i don't remember you having one of these now this is just about right now there's no onions in this tonight or anything we're just making straight up cornbread i want it just a dab bit thinner Yes, ma'am. And I've got the cornbread mixed up in this new bowl. I don't think I've ever mixed cornbread any better in my whole life. I know, John. Quit going on. So that's just a few of the things. Now, and when I say a few of the things, it's birthday month. They're 79 years old. Tupperware's 79. And they're, caught, they're doing all kinds of great deals. Tupperware is here to stay. Um, so you've heard the rumors. You've heard all kinds of rumors. Don't mean we have to believe them um i heard them just like y'all did that's my I, now this is my work thermos for water i take water in this a lot and why do i take it in this because i can throw it in my briefcase and it don't leak so that's my water thermos that's hot i think mama let's see if my cornbread's gonna shizzle when i pour it in See if I can do this backwards over my shoulder left-handed. Oh, wow. Nope, no sizzle. But that's okay. You don't even have to heat the cornbread. It's still going to cook. It's just, I like that sizzle, and I think it, and that's the reason I use spatula, Mama. I like the sizzle, and I think it makes it crunchier. But it, if you let it bake, it's going to be crunchy. Look at that. And that'll be easy to wash out because it's smooth on the inside. Isn't it funny when the simple things, you know you're old. Now let's be honest. You know you're old when a, a new Tupperware bowl to mix up cornbread makes you kind of happy. It ain't a trip to nowhere. It ain't, nah, it's a bowl to mix up cornbread in and it kind of made me, when I say this, oh the bowl came. Come on. You're getting old when you, when that's your, when a new kitchen gadget gets you all excited, you're like, he old. Ain't no 20 year olds or 30 year olds getting excited about no cornbread bow, right? Truth to truth. And coffee, a pack of coffee. Y'all have sent me some of the best coffees. And every time I see it, mama, show them that bow. She just washed that like lickety split. Um, she don't want you to see it wet. She's like, don't show them a wet bowl. It hurts, but I don't want you to get water. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she was me. She was See how smooth it is? Now that ring looks flat in there, but that bowl is, that bowl is rounded. So when I'm mixing, I'm hitting every surface, every spot. There's no little areas down in there that corners were to get caught on okay we're through talking about the bow y'all can relax i know some of your thing all right john we've seen you got a new bow quit going on about the bow <laughs> did you hear my mother mama yeah she's wondering about I don't me but you didn't show them i set it down here See, you're hiding stuff. She got her a new mandolin today. Now, we have not shown y'all a mandolin. I show you the chopping board, the block, and the knife. This is the mandolin. 
And let me see how much it is. I did make a note on it. I don't pretend to remember all these prices. I ain't going to tell you. Oh, I know all the prices. It's $49. Um, because I don't. I take good. Ooh, that chicken looks so good, Mama. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Look at this chicken, folks. Look at this chicken. Grilled. Grilled. And that That's the seasonings. Yeah. Uh, on that one. That's uh, yours. It's so much Yeah, because she piled about an inch of, of uh, seasonings on mine. But that's fine. I like it that way. This is the mandolin. And I've not opened it yet. Now, we have one. We had one. And Mama gifted it to, I think, was it with Sister? Because we just got one. Never have used a mandolin. Always used a knife. So, someone asked me about the mandolin the other day. that works with Tupperware. Did you get a mandolin? John, I've not seen you show the mandolin on your show. I said, I don't really care for a mandolin. We've had mandolins in the past. I said, they're dangerous. They hurt. I, I just, it makes me nervous and I don't want to fool with it. And she said, do you remember the Tupper? I said, we had one one time and I remember I didn't use it. I don't even think I showed it to y'all. And she said, well, I actually would not cut a tomato any other way. I would not cut an onion any other way. I would not do cucumbers any other way. And she said, you are missing out. Well, then that made me want one. She's with her own sale this month, Kitchen's one. So I've got us one, and I'm going to be trying it, and we're going to try it together. I'm not, it's not like I was born knowing everything about Tupperware and everything they have. I'm just like you all. Um, but look here, here's the thing. Here's that um, crinkle cut potato. Here's the waffle cut potato. Here's the crinkle cut fries. It does amazing, brilliant things, and it's terribly safe. So they tell me. Here is sliced potatoes, french fried potatoes, cubed cheese. My, oh my, it does do a lot. I'm glad she told me. You have this little... Mama's telling y'all, you can slice... Oh, that looks serious. Watch this. Watch this. You see them? That's where you put your taters. Uh, Mama says that you were, we've not done it before, hadn't even thought about it, but we're going to make us some macro pro grill potatoes, fried potatoes. This little thing here, you put your tater, your cucumber, whatever on those spikes, and you push down and it will slice on here. Um, it's a wonderful little device. It tilts up. It's got rubber grips like this, and if you've priced these, they are expensive. You put this little thing in here and you just slide along. And this is your blade adjustment. And here is your other blades under here for your other um, designs of potatoes and stuff. I'm kind of looking forward to learning it and using it one day. And we'll use it together. And you and I and Mama can learn how to use it together. Because... There's all kinds of little hidden... Look here, those knife blades down in there. There's all kinds of little things. So if you ever thought about, I might try one of them. Maybe you don't like to chop by hand. You're thinking, I ain't feeling with that. It's got a dial over here that raises and lowers the deck. So you can get down below the blade or if you need it. And so you can slice them whatever thickness you want. And you just run it up and down. And... It's as easy as she told me it was. To be honest with you, when we had one before, I don't remember you looking like this. I don't remember feeling this comfortable. I don't remember this being this comfortable with it. So there it is. And you put your bowl underneath there, and it just slices off to it. So we're going to learn this one together. We will make something on it before too long. You're going to use this plastic bag. Mama's right on the job. Yes, I am, Mama. I'm back in. That ain't where I got that, though, Mama. It ain't. I got that from under here. It was laying there. Yeah, but I, I peeled this up from under here somehow. Well, 
we'll talk about this later because I don't know how to put it back together now. I do know how to get the kickstand down. We're going to learn this and, and we'll show you this together. But my point is saying it's on sale right now for, see, this is the reason I don't try to quote prices to y'all. I don't memorize those things. The mandolin is $49, so it's on sale. So if you want to learn with me and you want us to do a little mandolin class, I'll have to get us a mandolin teacher, it looks like. But if we want to learn together how to do the mandolin, we will. And we'll make it some taters. I saw a little demo on it. That's the reason I bought it. Someone demoed it in one of the meetings. And then they were talking about it. And I thought, well, I just can't live without one of them. Now, you ever do that? I think I, maybe I did get this out of here. I'll have to watch the video back and see where I got this to pack it back up. But it don't really need to be packed up because we're going to wash it up and use it. Um, Mama was right. She just throw this away, Mama. Why'd you even ask me? Why don't you just grab it and take it and run with it? <laughs> okay. That, this came out of here, didn't it? I remember that now. I'm going to take this and throw it away. I've done embarrassed the whole family trying to put it down. Good night. Throw that away like you wanted to. <laughs> We're going to wash it anyway. Why am I packing it up? Oh, John, get it together now. Let's talk now about supper. Mama, you know, we're not going to eat tomorrow. We're going to do broth. I'm going to eat what Mama eats tomorrow. It ain't going to hurt me. You could eat. You don't have to do Mama, I will not eat in front of you. I wouldn't do that to nobody. It wouldn't hurt you to. It won't hurt me. It would hurt you. No, it wouldn't hurt Oh, me. she talks that talk, but you know. You just don't read. I could sit like Maggie. <laughs> She'd be over here with Maggie going. I'd have two girls over here wanting to buy them. Whatever you're eating. <laughs> oh, it won't hurt me to convince the day. And uh, maybe I need to eat less anyway. And we're going to have some delicious chicken broth for lunch tomorrow. I just can't wait. Oh. But, Y'all are going to love lunch tomorrow. <laughs> Chicken broth and jello for dessert. We're eating high on the hog tomorrow. Yeah. What's that mean? High on the hog. I've heard that my whole life. You're eating high on the hog. I guess that means the good meat. The, I don't. The belly is the fat. But ain't that where the bacon comes from? Well, the lower part is like belly low is fat. Like and bacon. Then the bacon. I don't know about y'all, but I just didn't eat the bacon. The ham comes from the... Top. High. There's a shoulder meat, a ham. Mom, they can't hear you. Get over here and type to them. Mom, you got a pretty outfit on today. My Tupperware. She's washing my Tupperware. And y'all see. Didn't what? he ask me to wash up his Tupperware stuff that he got? I just wanted that one bowl washed so I could mix up cornbread in it. Never put off tomorrow what you can enjoy today, Mama. I know, and you enjoyed mixing it up. I kind of did. I know that's how sad I am. <sighs> Mercy. Here. My friends remind me every once in a while. That I'm a boring old man, basically. And it's probably true. But I enjoy it. I like the simple things. I just like the simplest of things. You need to lay this over with your books and not get it wet. It's plastic, Mama. That's another good thing. That, that ain't going to get wet. This, you get this instruction thing. And you hear that? It's like a cutting board. It's not a cutting board. Don't get out and say, John said cut meat. No. It's, it's that kind of... So you can keep it right with it. You can keep it with your wet hands while you're trying to learn how to do potatoes that look like this. Or this. Or that. Or over here. Look at all the different varieties. Um, now that I've gotten it opened again, I, I really don't think... I think when we got one, it was a, maybe it was a gift or something. I don't remember how I got it, but I mean, I would not think, oh, that's one of them mandolin things. I ain't fooling with that. And I didn't really even give it a good look, see. But it looks different to me. This, Ooh, excuse me. Mama's, 
Playing the dishes. It looks different to me than it did last time. So I'm excited about this one because I guess the reason I'm excited is because I've seen a full demo. A demo of it. And that led me to believe that I might be able to do some of the stuff that she was doing with it. I know. Wishful thinking, right? But if I can get a tater out of it or a waffle fry, I just have to have one thing of it. And I can eat that same thing over and over and act like I'm happy about it. Because I will be. Do you all order the same thing when you go to a restaurant? Literally, literally, my coworkers, a lot of times they'll go out for lunch, and if I'm not going out, they'll say, can I pick you up some? I say, yeah, just bring me whatever I normally eat from the place you're going. It don't matter. And they're like, okay, we got you. We know what you eat. No matter where they go, they know what I'm going to eat because I, every time we go, I eat the same thing. I am a boy now, man, ain't I? Is that <laughs> I just realized here that. Or something that. What? Probably me, Mama. Huh? Probably me in this stool. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably just this stool begging for mercy. You know how it chairs. This is a wooden. This is the. Mama's got that metal old timey one with the let out steps, you know. And uh, her little niece told her, said, that is, uh, a, that still is a memory from my childhood. And I thought, a great niece. A great niece. So that's a memory from my childhood. I'll always remember uh, t uh, Nana Tootsie's stool. And I thought, I had never thought about it that and way. And now her kid sits in it. <laughs> I never thought about that old stool, but Mama's been sitting in that stool for several many years, haven't you, Mama? A couple. <laughs> I even bought her a matching stool. Found one at a yard sale that matches the one we already had. And she said, I can't get off and on that thing. I'm short legged and this I like these steps at the bottom. I even offered to buy her a new one. They had a we've got a, a Bucks hardware downtown. They sell old vintage stools. If you're not anything vintage Come by Bucks here in Jellico, but he has those stools sitting in the window. And I said, Mommy, you want to go down Bucks and buy one of them bright red ones? No, mine's good, ain't it? Don't you like my stool? <laughs> she gets a little s sensitive. But here's Mama's stool. Y'all see her sitting in it, but you don't get to see it very often. It is well worn. It I don't is. Know how old it is, it really is. It's old. It is well worn. And see, even the treads is off the. The little legs and those. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me point you down here. So these little legs come out. It's a step stool. It's a step stool, and this is her little stool. And uh, according to the kids, this is a memory from their childhood. This it little stool. It serves when they come. They pop in it. So. Yeah, but it's mom, and it's hard as a rock. And I said, Mama, put a cushion on. I don't need no cushion. I said, Mama, it's a little small. Well, don't get in it, she says. Stay out of my stove. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. That's what she says. So that's Mama's stool. Mama, you shut on that refrigerator door, and I just told me cleaned out this one. They ain't going to believe a word I said. It's that full. But, you know, the racks has got a lot more room than they did have. Because oh, yeah. Mama threw out... Last week's leftovers. We've not cooked a thing this week. It's been, uh, uh, I get to think, I said, Mom, it's been a minute since we cooked. I think s even Sunday we had uh, chicken quesadillas when we had no taters, you know. And I said, Mom, you picked a bad way to quit cooking. Monday night, what did you decide we had? Chili. I forgot what it was. I think. Tuesday, Sydney was here, and we just made that cornbread, and that's all we had for supper. Wednesday, I gave Mama the night off because I knew she was tired from working, and I just drove you into the park and come home, and we didn't eat supper that night. And Friday, I mean Thursday, I was gone. Right? Thursday, she was in prison. We don't even want to talk about that again. And uh, we had cake from the pizza spot. That was a hard life in that prison. <laughs> she went to brush him out in prison. Excuse me. Go ahead, Mama. Bang and pick. That's fine. Did you through? Yeah. She went to Brushy Mountain Prison. They've turned it into... Brushy Mountain Prison was a real prison. They turned it in 
tw- your the last prisoner uh, was there. Two thousand and nine. Two thousand and nine. And it's kind of been sitting there for a while. Well, they went in and they turned into a museum kind of thing. You People take tour buses there, and that's what Mama was on. And you get to go in and view the prison, view the cells, and view the hole where they stuck people in the dark with little, uh, Mama said, little bitty, you could hardly see through for light, horrible conditions. And um, and you can eat there. And not, not there at that part. It's down the road. Down the road? Oh. But anyway, I don't know all the details, but you know, people it's go there. Cold in there. It's well I wish I could go there and visit. It's in the hotness. Did you have to walk a lot? Well you walked quite a bit, yeah. She says she walked quite a bit. Anyhow, that's the reason Mama went to prison Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. It was a mystery trip. We didn't know where we was going. She didn't know where they was going. But I thought it I answered it before. They give them clues, little hints. We this place you this or this or that. And, um, so Mama had already guessed it was Brushy Mountain. Because they said, one of the last clues they said before they got to go, before they got on the bus was, um, you may want to visit, but you certainly wouldn't want to stay there. And they said some more stuff. But then when they got on the bus, they told them that you wouldn't want to wear orange. Our outfits would be orange. <laughs> Your outfits would be orange if you stayed there. Well, they knew then. Which I bet they weren't orange at Brushy Mountain. I bet you they were the old black and white or... They was uh, the earlier ones when they worked in the coal mines. Theirs was uh, top and the paints that come up like overalls almost. And they were black and white or gray and white stripe. It's, mm-hmm. uh, Is that cornbread done? Yeah. yeah. It looks dark. Look at that chicken. Miss Joe and Pam sent that to us. Miss Joe and Pam do all kinds of little goodies like that. They're just so sweet. They're like family to us, and y'all it keep praying for take Joe. that chicken up with your fork. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, this one here is mine, right? Next to the righty. Next to the righty. That brown, see it comes off, that is, that is, uh, Lemon pepper chicken and that's your ranch dressing. That's ranch dressing or ranch season, as you call it. Yum. Anyway, that's gonna be supper tonight. But this is the last supper until probably Monday evening. Tune in tomorrow for chicken broth. <laughs> Why are we having chicken broth and jelly? Mama's doing a little prep for a little procedure. Um, we're not, we're not going to, no, Mom, let's watch Mama flip. It didn't get hot. Looky there. Now that cornbread didn't get in a hot skillet, and that's the reason that around the edges is a little lighter. But that's what you, the difference between hot skillet and not hot skillet. That would have fried up a little darker. Have, but it's perfectly fine. Have you got a knife over there to cut this with? I do not. And you make drawer. me feel like, no, I don't have a knife in this drawer. In that drawer over there? I got spoons over here. I ain't never had a knife over here. You want me to use a sharp knife? Yeah, to cut it with. Oh, I thought she was talking about like a case knife. No. I can get you a sharp one, Mama, right here. I thought she was talking about a case knife. I really did, because that's what we cut cornbread with a lot of times. What's a case knife? Oh, is that what you want? <laughs> a case knife Here is... A case knife is a... What do y'all call it? A butter knife? We call them case knives here in the South. A case knife is a, a wonderful thing. Show them a case knife, Mama. I'm gonna, I'll dirty this once you can show them a good case knife. Show them a case knife. This set of di- a silverware, my brother got these for me at my household shower before I got married. Can they just see the woman in there? Yeah, I can see her now. <laughs> but this design and this, I've had these all these years, and that's what I've used mostly. I've got some odd and ends, but this Show is Show them the case knife, Mom. Show this the is case. the case oh. knife. Okay, the case knife. See how that case knife is? That is a flathead screwdriver. That is... Uh, it's a little 
uh, ridge do you on there? It will cut steak and stuff. It will not cut a steak, Mom. It will cut some stuff. Maybe not a tough one. <laughs> Maybe not a real steak. <laughs> <laughs> a pre-tenderized steak. That it... In the South, you call that a case knife. And somebody says, grab me a case knife. That's what that is. Butter knife, case knife. But I don't know what everybody else does, but we use this right here for butter. Uh, it's a spreader. It's just a little offset spreader. And we've got a bunch of these we in the drawer. Want, uh, you're going to try peach tea or just plain old regular? I'll do peach tea, Mama. And um, here's the old butter bell. Y'all remember the butter bell? Um, we keep this on... I'm sure y'all know what a butter belly is. I didn't, but I think I was the last person in the world that didn't know. Um, if you don't know, this is a butter bell. It's got that. It's the top. This is the top. It sits like this. And in here is water. And there's a line. You just fill it up with cold water. I mean, it don't have to stay cold. You just don't want to start with hot water. But there's a line in there in the bottom. And you just fill it up to there. And then you just put your butter in here. And then you put it in here. And the top of the bale hits the top of the water. And it keeps an airtight barrier for the butter. And you just leave it set out. Um, and it will have softened butter on your table all the time. Um, we've been using... We, we keep... Normally we keep the butter bill out, but we have it in the last little bit. We uh, just been using one the stove and bringing it over and taking it back. So the other day I ran into the butter bill and we washed it up. Now so let's start using the butter bill again. Um, it, your butter can get old in them if you don't use it a lot. And at that time we weren't eating butter at the table much. Sweet tea, y'all sweet tea. We wasn't eating butter at the table that much and it got old twice on us. So we don't need no butter bell because we ain't eating enough butter to keep it fresh but we we will keep it fresh i'm sure mama cuts your cornbread like you asked me to uh, you tell it i can't have it over here oh. you, you, i have the knife ready but this is the butter bell and i've got a whole video back in that day back when it was just coffee time with john and i just talked and didn't do a lot of cooking i'll tell you all the long boring story about how i obtained a butter bell um, you know, surfing through the internet on Facebook, and I see this butter bell on Amazon, and it lured me in because I'd never heard of it. So I looked it up, and it said a butter bell, blah blah blah. And I just tell me what I just told you. So I go over to Amazon and I order me a butter bell, and within from the time I first seen it to the time I ordered it. Not hardly 60 seconds had passed. Because I thought, I gotta have one of them. Of course, I ordered an orange. And uh, it arrived, and Mama said, what on earth have you ordered? And I said, it's a butter bell. And she said, what are we supposed to do with a butter bell? And Mama did remember them from when she was younger. Uh, this used to be, you can find antique ones. And I've got an antique one in there since I got this one. So uh, it's just a quick little way to have softened butter on the table and it just sits on its lid you can set it up like that right there and uh, have softened butter and I like it because there's not a lot you can put a stick of butter in there and uh, but see how soft and creamy that butter is ready to go on cornbread uh, and that's what you want and it don't dump out in your water it could I guess but it don't and uh, you just have butter look at this feast mm -mm -mm. Mashed potatoes, corn, get you some green, beans. green beans. Let me just get me some because I'll hold it. Yeah, we can't change hands. Yummy! I love peanut beans, they Mama. This is like them. Thanksgiving. This is we ain't eating so long here that it's like having a Thanksgiving dinner. Corn. A little dollop of taters. It's like having a big feast. You can't get uh -oh. potatoes, have you? No. Let's give you plenty of taters. This is the only thing that promotes, that causes Mama to cook. Get you some coffee. It's her love of taters. She could do without about everything. But if I say, Mama, are you hungry? I want some taters. Let's cook. <laughs> and that's why that usually goes, isn't it, Mama? Yeah. I have to have some taters. All right. Let's 
bless it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it to the Lord. And we, dear Lord, we just pray that you'll be with each and every prayer request that's out there, those spoken and unspoken, dear Lord. And be with all the nation's leaders, dear Lord, that they can come together in one mind and one accord under your authority, dear Lord. And dear Lord, we just pray for a hedge protection around us and our children and all the children in our world, dear Lord, as they need you more than ever, dear Lord. And dear Lord, we just pray for Mama's uh, upcoming test, and we know that you're in control, and we know that we'll give you the praise and the glory and the honor. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I guess I stopped in the middle of talking about because we talked about it last night. Mama's just having a routine checkup. It's just every five years. It's colonoscopy time. It's time for those kind of things. They are going to do an upper scope to see because sometimes she gets choked, but it's not like in her throat. It's in down in here. It feels some of y'all have that. Uh, hiatal hernia and all those good things. So they're just going to check on that again. I think they checked on it once before. So they keep a check on that. And um, so that's what we're up to. It's just routine. We do have an appointment one day this week to go to get our eyes prepped for that cataract surgery business. Well, he's going to check them and set up the schedule and the surgery and all of that. I hope that's done. And then... We may have her fix up like the bionic woman, and she'll be ready to go another 100,000 miles. That's what we're hoping you for. You think I've went 100,000 miles already? Well, you need to tune up every 100,000, I'm thinking. Are you using both of those knives, or would you want me to use one? One of them, George. I'm sorry. I did. <laughs> she got all bragging about the case knives and thought, well, he don't need a knife. Okay. I had both of them. I'm sorry about that. Well, that chicken is outstanding. It is. It's absolutely is. delicious. You need some butter for your stuff. No. But after I showed the butter bell the first time, I had tons of people reply and say, John, I'm so glad you explained that. I didn't know about a butter bell. Several of y'all <laughs> said, I have one of them things that didn't know what to do with it. So now you know what to do with it. Um... They're wonderful, but your butter can't go bad them after a few days. But you got to keep using butter. But uh, put a half a stick in there. But we we leave it out by the by the stove all the time in a crock container, and ours stays fine. We we have not lost any butter over there. But now when it was in this little butter bale, and we we got off bread, and we didn't eat toast every day like we was for a long time there then it did go bad once or twice but now we eat it a couple of times a week so we hadn't just completely cut it out mm -hmm. so hopefully it won't go bad if it does we'll just quit using it go back to using the one by the stove <laughs> mm. as much as I love the Vidalia cornbread good old southern cornbread without sugar <laughs> What's with her? Mama, I gotta ask you. What makes you say, are you gonna put a pinch of sugar in it? Well, sometimes. Have you ever? Yeah, I have before a little bit. You learn a lot about people. <laughs> when have you ever put sugar in Well, you, I'll tell you when I put a little bit in it. Now, you put sugar in hush puppies and stuff. This is just regular cornbread. I didn't think you ever put sugar in cornbread. That's not even southern, Mama. Well. I can't believe you asked me that. You're not an alien, Mama, are you? Mm-hmm. Huh. Did you get abducted in the middle of the night and come back as a, as a sweet cornbread person? No, when we make it to I'm blind. Jiffy. Cornbread sometimes I make Mexican cornbread. It's sweet. I sort of say, I know you're an alien now. Because we've never ate Jiffy cornbread. Except. Not just cornbread. It's just Mexican. Cornbread. Except Mexican cornbread or in a casserole. Maggie's here to drink some water. 
Mama, this is absolutely delicious. Oh, yeah. Probably it is delicious, but starvation for over a week makes it even better. I'm thinking about tomorrow. Can I eat enough to make me go? <laughs> I believe you can, Mama. 24 hours is 24 hours. They set the terms. Mm-hmm. Mm. When I get up in the morning, I can't have no food. You can have the peach tea, can't you? It's, yeah, they said tea, copy. Well, I'm not going to have any either. I'm just going to drink coffee and have broth and jello with you. You have to be keep your strength. Oh, on. my strength. Because you have to take care of me. <laughs> Mama's worried about my strength so I can take care of her. You know, I'm going to play it for all this work. <laughs> I'm going to say, John, can you get me something to drink? And what will I say? <laughs> yeah, what do you want? <laughs> This way we are, folks. If Mama knows I got an extra early morning, sometimes it's now my regular days. <laughs> not a thing. I'm not good. Am I? On my early days or my stressful weeks, I get breakfast made. I get lunch made. She's up in here at four thirty or five o'clock, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" I thought I'd make you a little breakfast. I have to make you coffee, fix your bread. Makes my coffee. But see, I've trained Maggie. It's been a while. I've been working on it. No, I really haven't, but we don't understand it. If I get up at 5.30 or 5 o'clock, I mean, I'm in here at 5 o'clock, and by 5.30, if I'm standing right here in this kitchen making coffee, or if I am sitting right here at this counter and she's sleeping right there she will get up and run to mama's bedroom push the door open and go over and lunge on mama's bed to get her up to let her out and i don't know it because she's not barking and i hear the alarm cut off and i know mama's up and i'll say well, what are you doing up she woke me up, and I'm like, Maggie, why did you wake up, Mom? I think you trained her to do that. I think you got her trying to get me up, so I said, no, Mom, I don't. But why would she do that? All of a sudden, for years, she's let me let her out of the morning. I think I'm going to start letting her out when I get I up. I think you said the wrong words. You see right there what I'm talking about? She's in there now wanting to go, oh, you too. Mama, come back, come back. No. no, no, come back, come back. Let's do, I'm gonna say goodbye. We gonna go come oh. before you get tower up with Maggie. <laughs> We're gonna say goodbye, folks. We're gonna let you all along. We're gonna say thank you for putting up with us. Oh, you all yes. are wonderful, wonderful people. Wonderful people. And uh, we thank the world of you, and y'all pray for us, and we'll pray for you, and that's the only way we'll get through, folks. So y'all have a great day. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. God bless you, all. Bye, y'all. Have a wonderful night. Bye, bye. -bye. bye, -bye.